Hi, I'm Sue from Garden Moxie. Today I'm showing you how to plant a container-grown arborvitae. This season I decided to remove my snowball viburnum. It was infected with viburnum leaf beetle. I'll be replacing the viburnum with a 5 foot tall emerald green arborvitae. I'll be planting the arborvitae in the same spot that once occupied the snowball viburnum. Planting a container-grown tree or shrub is pretty straightforward. The first thing I need to do is prepare the planting hole. The most commonly made mistake when planting trees and shrubs is to plant them too deeply. I like to place the soil from the hole onto a piece of cardboard. This way the soil doesn't get all over the lawn and it's easy to backfill the soil when it's time to plant. I want the width of the planting hole to be 6 to 12 inches wider than the root ball. I also want the depth of the planting hole to be deep enough so that the top surface of the root system is just slightly above the surface of the soil. Once the planting hole is ready, I need to remove the arborvitae from the container. I gently tip the tree onto its side and work to remove the tree from the container. Since most container-grown trees are root-bound, it helps to press the sides of the container to help free up the tree from the pot. I make sure to pull along the base of the trunk to try to free the tree from the container. This way you can avoid damaging the branches. You don't want to pull the arborvitae from the top branches. Don't let this arborvitae fool you. The root ball of this tree is really heavy and it's not easy to remove from the container. I'm including the whole process here so that you can see it takes a little time to finally get the arborvitae removed. But just keep pulling at the base of the trunk and rolling in the container along the ground and eventually you'll free the arborvitae from the container. Once I got the arborvitae removed from the container, I could see that it was really root bound. This is fairly common with nursery grown stock. I watered this container before I started this process, but the first thing I want to do now that it's out of the container is really water the roots to prevent them from drying out while I prepare the roots for planting. I use my garden hose to saturate the root system. I'm taking this opportunity to look at the roots and the bottom of the container. The one thing I notice is that the bottom of the container is hard like cement. It's like a clay type of surface. I'm going to need to break this up so that I don't have hard spots. I use a handheld garden rake and free the roots from the sides and the bottom of the root ball. I want to manipulate the roots so that they're free to grow into the backfill soil in the planting hole. The technique I found that works really well is to run a soft stream of water over the roots and use my hands to free the roots from the soil. I'm going to continue working my way around the entire container to make sure that all the roots are freed up. The idea here is I'm trying to make certain that the roots are going to be able to grow along the outsides of the root ball into the surrounding soil. It's important that you take the time necessary to do this. The success of the tree depends on it. I'll use my handheld rake to continue to free the roots up even more. One thing that I noticed for this particular arborvitae is that one side of the root ball doesn't really seem to have a lot of roots at all. I'm not sure why the tree grew this way, but I'm going to do my best to ensure the root ball is properly prepared for planting. Wetting down the soil really helps to free up the roots, as you can see.
I'm aiming to have at least six to eight inches between the outside of the root ball and the edge of the planting hole for this particular tree. When I'm preparing the planting hole, I want to make sure that the base of the hole is very firm and that the root ball sits on sturdy soil. This will prevent the tree from settling and becoming again planted too deeply. Once I'm happy with the placement of the root ball and I know that the tree is straight, I start to backfill the soil. One of the things that I want to caution you about is not to step on the soil with the heels of your feet trying to like really pat the soil down because you're just going to compact the soil. The technique that I want to use is to simply backfill the soil with my hands a little bit at a time. Use your hands to really press the soil against the root ball to make sure that there's good contact with the root system. And you continue backfilling in layers until you finally get all the soil up to the top of the root ball. Once the backfill soil is put in place and the arborvitae is planted, it's time to water the tree. I do this with my garden hose and just make sure that the root ball is saturated. The last step in planting this tree is to mulch the tree. The technique that I'm using here is called the 333 technique. That's where you use three inches of mulch to create roughly a three foot ring around the tree, making sure to leave a three inch gap between the mulch and the trunk of the tree. I build up a mound around the tree so that I'm able to channel water into the root ball. And so here's the finished mulching. You can see that I've got roughly three inches of mulch around the edge of the plant. And I've also left around three inches of soil between the mulch and the trunk of the tree. And there you have it. That's how you plant a container grown arborvitae. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching. Cheers.